Today we're going to work on tulips. And I'll start with the long spiky leaves. And I've got my brush double loaded already. And we'll just start from a point down here and come up, raise it to a point, flatten out, come up to a point, reload to do the other one. These are the ones that are behind. Straight, go up to a point. Oh, my hand right in the way, isn't it? Let me see if I can do this. Nope, right in the way. Let's see, do this one. Can you see me do this one? Let's see. Now we'll try the, an up, a turned leaf. Let's see, we'll go up, go to a curve, and come back down. I'm doing this on paper so it's coming, it's a little dry. So go up, flatten, lift as you curve, and drag back down. Drag back down there. So lift, up, and go back down. Not muddy it because I went over it so many times, but you get the movement. And when you do it on a painted surface, it won't be so draggy on it. And I guess I could pull in the stems of the tulips. I've got them a little wide there, but this is practice. Now we'll go and do the tulips. I'll just change colors. I'm going to get this right, people. Okay, just one more time. Come up, curve, and come down into a point. Okay, now we're going to actually work on the tulip flowers. I'm going to start at this one here. And we're going to start with the back petals and just kind of do a shell stroke or a few shell strokes. And get those back petals in there. And then you come and do the top petals. Kind of do a backwards S. Don't worry about that edge too much. You're going to come back with the other side. And you can kind of neaten them up. You want to fill in do whatever. And there's your first tulip. And you can you know, do whatever. Kind of fill in a little bit or fix or do whatever you want. Okay, now we'll go to the next one. And you don't have to use a pattern. You can basically start with an oval shape. And just kind of fill in, use a photograph of some tulips, and just get as close as you can. Remember, you're not trying to be exact, you're just trying to get, this is paper again, so it's drier. And it drags a bit, so you can just kind of go like this and get all the colors in there. Now this one's a more closed up tulip, so let's just start with a little bit with the side in there. Go up to the point, come back down. And then just fill it in. Come up to the point, back down, and just fill in with the white there. And if it's dragged, just... And there you are. Some basic tulips. 